DF chairman says circumstances surrounding the Menka massacre in Pinyin village are very unclear. To Mr. Frundi, the truth is being hidden given that all those present at the scene on the unfortunate day are all dead. Love it there, Ignacio Samabu. The main incidents in Pinyin village where 27 young boys and girls were killed by the forces of law and order has been described as the deadliest since the start of the Anglophone crisis. The chairman of the Social Democratic Front, Nijan Frunzi, commenting on the issue for the second time, says the circumstances surrounding the Menka massacre leaves heavy suspicions. The suspicion, heavy suspicion, on to what happened. It is ridiculous that members of the armed forces killed everybody who was within that premises. One of the boys that was wounded on the mouth and the nose was bleeding profusely. They took him to the hospital in Akum and he was on drip. Members of the armed forces came, removed this drip, took this gentleman with his two brothers who brought him there, went back to Pinyin, killed them, and, and abandoned the corpses there. They were erasing this. What were they hiding? Because authentic information reaching me indicated that the top CPDM people in Santa started having meetings, members of government involved, that were planning to destroy any group that was going to disturb them on May 20th. The chairman is equally worried that authorities did not visit the incident scene to see for themselves. They said the DO of Santa has not been to the scene of incident. The SDO has not been there to see what for himself what happened. And uh, inside Jerome has said he got word, the army told him. The army will tell you what they want to tell you. But what is it that he recorded from the people involved? So. These are the things that make me feel that this thing was a government plan. He went as far as commenting on the U.S. ambassador's recent statement to the president of the republic that resulted to a press release from the minister of external relations. A few weeks before, the American ambassador brought the planes that the American government gave Mr. Beer to combat terrorism in the north. Oh, it was all praises on the American ambassador. A few weeks after, it is made this statement against Mr. Bia, crucify him. The whole government of Mr. Bia is on the ambassador. Are we saying that Mr. Bia's government has all been very, very perfect? I think that we are in a country of double standards. And the earlier we identify ourselves and get out, we'll fix this country. But if we continue the way we are doing, Cameroon has a long way to go. I'm sorry, I'm afraid.